Hey guys, welcome to another week of Most Influential Women. Hope everybody is in one piece or, you know, multiple pieces, but at least you have them with you. <laughs> well, without further ado, if anybody likes robots or AI stuff, or how about robots taking over the world? Mm, a lot of controversy here. So, if you like robots, Please continue, take two extra seconds to go ahead and do not change your channel or click on anything else because you will miss out on some really, really cool stuff. So wait two seconds, get through this intro and we should go ahead and keep you something else. All right, cool. Hang on one sec, let's see what we got. Alright guys, I am going to introduce you to Cynthia Briaziel. She is an American roboticist and entrepreneur. She is a former chief scientist and chief experience officer of Jibo, a company she co-founded in 2012. Jibo produced commercial social robots to be used at home, which is pretty cool actually. Now Briaziel was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico on November 15, 1967. Her passion for robotics and artificial intelligence was actually sparked by designs and robotics in the popular motion picture Star Wars. We all know Star Wars, right? She watched it for the very first time at 10 years old, and she has been entranced ever since. Now, as the daughter of two scientists, she had early access to the field of computer science and engineering, which helped her fascination turn into a profession. Now, under the guidance of her parents, she earned a BS in electrical and computer engineering from the University of California, Santa Barbara in 1989, her MS in 1993, and her SCD in 2000 in electrical engineering and computer science, both from MIT. Now, she had an epiphany watching a NASA robot and decided to switch her focus to social robots. So what she did is she developed the Kismet robot as a doctoral thesis under Rodney Brooks, looking into expressive social exchange between humans and humanoid robots. Kismet, as well as other robots, Graziel co-developed while a graduate student at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab, can now be seen at the MIT Museum. Notable examples include the upper torso humanoid robot Cog and the insect-like robot Hannibal. She also worked on Leonard, Ida, Atom, and Huggable. This was early in 2000s, which was long before Siri and Alexa even existed. Brazil is a professor of media arts and sciences at MIT where she founded the Personal Robotics Group at the Media Lab. She has written several books in the field of robotics and has published several peer-reviewed articles on the topic. She also serves on several editorial boards for autonomous and other robotic committees. The issue she found growing up and studying in university was that robots much too often only interacted with other objects and not people. In addition to this, she found that if we gave robots the ability to perform non-verbal cues, such as those that humans inherently do every day, then humans will treat and see robots more like companions and like other humans. She also explored the idea of using robots to build better connections between humans, such as humans who live a long distance away from each other. This way, new types of relationships can be fostered that weren't possible beforehand. That's groundbreaking. Now, Briaziel is also the associate director for the Bridge MIT Quest for Intelligence, where she works on implementing AI through grade school. She has centered her work around the concept of quote unquote, living with AI which studies the impact of including social robots into our everyday lives. 
The purpose of adding sentiment to AI would be to offer support to people and to create companionship and support in places where there may be none. Now let's just take a second for that. Can you imagine having a robot, a quote unquote companionable robot that lives in your house? Now we all are thinking certain movies already, I'm sure. So what would you do? Can you imagine having one of these on an everyday life? That's, that's crazy, that's so amazing. Okay, now I don't want one mind you, but still. <laughs> now, Leonard was one of her earliest robots co-developed with Stan Winston Studio and its successor to Kismet, recognized in 2006 by Wired Magazine as one of the 50 best robots ever. Leonard was also used to investigate social cognition and theory of mind, abilities on robots with application to human-robot collaboration. In addition to developing social learning abilities for robots such as imitation, tutelage, and social referencing. Nexi is another of Brazil's robots in this tradition and was named Time Magazine as one of the 50 best inventions of 2008. Now Nexi is a MDS robot, mobile, dexterous, social, that combines rich social communication abilities with mobile dexterity to investigate more complex forms of human robot teaming. Dexterity, that's like hand-eye coordination, picking up pencils, and oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Alright, other social robots developed in Brazil's personal robot group include Atom, a robot diet and exercise coach, the PhD thesis of Corey Kidd. It was found to be more effective than a computer counterpart in sustaining engagement and building trust and they work in alliance with users. Atom was the predecessor of Mabu, Catalia Health. Brazil's group has also explored expressive remote presence robots such as Mibot. The physical social embodiment of the Mibot was found to elicit greater psychological involvement engagement, and desire to cooperate over purely screen-based video conferencing or a mobile screen. The Huggable was designed as a pediatric companion to help support the emotional needs of hospitalized children and to help support and augment child life specialists. These are so... These are some amazing, amazing attributes. Like, can you imagine just thinking this stuff out of nothing? She ran with it. Briazia's personal robots group has also done a number of design projects. Cyberflora was exhibited at the 2003 National Design Triennial at the Smithsonian Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. She served as a consultant on the 2001 Spielberg Kubrick movie AI Artificial Intelligence. She also had a prominent role as a virtual participant in a popular exhibit on robots with the traveling exhibit Star Wars, where science meets imagination. Interacting with a real C-3PO, voiced by Anthony Daniels, as she spoke to the audience through a pre-recorded message on a flat screen display. In 2003, she was named by the MIT Technology Review, TR100, as one of the top 100 innovators in the world under the age of 35. And in 2020, she was elected as a AAAI Fellow by the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence. In March 2020, during the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, Friazel and her team launched a site with over 60 activities so students can get access to STEM activities from the lockdown to help teachers and parents continue education from home. Now let's take one step back. We mentioned Jibo earlier. This is her invention. This is her baby. Or one of, anyway. This is her company. On March, July... <laughs> On July 16, 2014, Brazil launched an Indiegogo campaign to crowdfund the development of Jibo, a personal assistant robot 
widely marketed as the world's first family robot. She served as chief scientist and chief experience officer. Now, Jibo reached its initial fundraising goal and was due to launch in 2015, then later pushed to 2016, before finally being released in November of 2017. Eh, sometimes it takes a little bit. Gotta make sure those kinks are out. <laughs> the robot was created with the goal of creating more engaging social experiences, including storytelling and other forms of entertainment. Jibo generally received poor reviews, unfortunately, being compared to the more powerful and much cheaper Amazon Alexa and Google Home. The software development kit expected for developers was never released. And on December 15, 2017, the company announced layoffs and shut its store soon after. By the time Jibo shut down, it had raised more than $70 million. March 2020, the assets for Jibo Inc. were acquired by NTT Corp. NTT Disruption intends to bring Jibo to the healthcare and education markets. Now, for awards and recognition, let's go ahead and give her her just due. In 2008, she received the Gilbreth Lectures Award by the National Academy of Engineering. Her Nexi robot was named one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2008. In 2014, she was recognized as an entrepreneur as Fortune Magazine's Most Promising Women Entrepreneurs and she was also a recipient of the L'Oreal USA Women in Digital Next Generation Award. The same year, she received the 2014 George R. Stibitz Computer and Communications Pioneer Award for seminal contributions to the development of social robotics and human-robot interaction. In 2015, Briazel was named by Entrepreneur Magazine as a woman to watch. And Jibo was also featured on the cover of Time Magazine's 25 Best Inventions of 2017. Now let's take a step back and just appreciate all that she has put out there for us. People like Cynthia Briazial pushed that thought process to an entirely different avenue. They ran with it. She took that thought that mini moment of, hey, I want my own Citripio, and then she ran with it and she made her own. Help me congratulate Cynthia Briaziel as we add her to the list of most influential women. Thank you so much for inspiring us and for jumping us into the next century and taking us to a whole different area that I would have never imagined as a child. So. Thank you for joining me on learning a little bit more about robotics and some really cool stuff here about some, you know, quite a few different robotics evidently in the AI field. So if this has inspired you to go ahead and make your own, please, please, please do so. Run with it. Jump out there and like do stuff. Teach yourself something new that you didn't know before. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a great day and a great week and I will see you later. All right, bye.